Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs. And if you're wondering what is in this little box, I have been using this little box to um, hold all of my eBay purchases. Now, I don't have them all, but I do have quite a few that I would love to share with you guys. I found some really cool items on eBay, which is like my favorite place to shop when it comes to like stamps and craft dies and things like that. So I have a little bit of both. Um, that I want to share with you guys. So let's get to it. And I will have um, prices. Let me just go ahead and open up my eBay page so that I can tell you what they cost as I go through. And I've made myself a little list. Like I said, I do have quite a few things that are still um, MIA. They're still on their way. So let me just open up my purchase history so that I can share with you guys uh, what I have. So I think I'll share with you guys first the craft dies. Um, those are not that many. Now, I don't have like an abundance of things in this box. I don't know the box probably looks crazy uh, full, but it's not. Um, I'm still missing quite a few items, and um, they should be arriving any day now. So first on the list is this little baggie right here. And let me get myself a piece of white paper so that I can hopefully share them with you guys. Um, most of you guys know that um, I've been doing a summer canvas uh, series, if you want to call it that. I've, every single Saturday I've been coming on live and pretty much creating a canvas. And I'm using all different types of chipboards. I'm using die cuts. Uh, well, craft die cuts. Let's just get that right. <laughs> and I've been using my Expression 2 machine. Um, to pretty much create all different kinds of chipboards and elements that I've been incorporating into my canvases. So, I went ahead and purchased some. And what we have here, the very first one. And let me see if I can get this thing to like autofocus for me. Let's put autofocus on see if that'll help with sharing with you guys. Oh, there we go. Uh, what they look like. So this one right here, this is like, um, it does like raindrops. And I got this one for $1.86. And it measures about three and a half inches, a little less than three and a half inches um, by three inches. So it's a really nice, it's a really nice one. And that's what this one looks like. The next one that I got, and some of you guys have probably already seen these in other places, um, like from other stores and stuff like that, other online stores. This one's a jar, but it comes with these really cute uh, pieces here. It's got like some little petals and stuff. Um, So super, super cute. And then the jar. It's a nice size mason jar. And this one right here goes for about, let's see here. A little mason jar goes for a dollar and 23 cents, you guys. And the person that I purchased this from all of these are from the same seller, and the name is Top Clothes for Sale. So Top Clothes for Sale with an S. Um, clothes with an S. So, <laughs> so I got that from a dollar twenty-three. I think that was a pretty good price for that. Anyways, I'm just gonna put these to the side. I'll put them in their perspective baggies or in their perspective places after I share them with you. Um, the next one that I got is this one. This is cute little branch. And it's got like a cute little bird with it. And I haven't um, used any of these because, like I said, I've been getting the little packages and just putting them in the box. But it's got a, it's cute. It's got the little holes in it perfect. I was looking because I got one once with the little birdies that didn't have the hole, and I was so upset. This one with the little birdies was a dollar twenty-two. And this is what this one looks like. It's a pretty nice size, almost four inches. 
and then it's got the two little cute birds that you can use uh, with this dot with the die. The next one is this one right here. This one goes for um, let's see here. Two dollars and fifteen cents for this one, but I still thought it was a really um, good deal. This looks like baby's breath to me. Like that's kind of like what what it looked like to me. Like what I can make it as. It's like little baby's breaths. Um, and then this one too, really nice size overall. Almost five inches on that one, and this one as well, almost five inches. So that's a good one for two dollars and some change. And then the last one is this one right here. And that's the last one from this seller here. Um, the top clothes for sale, I think is what it says. <laughs> these names these people put on their on their um, things is crazy funny. Um, yeah, top clothes for sale. One word. Um, and it's this little thing right here. It's like a little camper. I love the little cute door. And then it's got this little, um, I guess you can make it like a little window or something. And then it's got an actual little window to go with it as well. So super, super cute. And the price on that, if I didn't tell you guys, was, let's see, $1.86. So those are the ones that I got from there. I'm going to put them all in this humongous bag for right now. Just so that I don't lose anything. Okay, here. I think this is going to go in. Um, let's see here. I need to go like a little magnet to pick these all up. Alright, so... That's this little baggie right here from Top Clothes for Less. The next little baggie is this one right here. And I got this really cute girl with some presents. And it comes with the matching die. I'm pretty sure you guys know what that looks like. But super, super cute. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it out. So you guys can see it all the way through. So you guys can see what she kind of looks like. Just a little impromptu stamping, you guys. Nothing too major. But I think she's super cute. And I think this would look nice for like a birthday card or even Christmas or anything where you're sending somebody like a little gift. Super cute. And then the die does fit over it pretty much to the T. So the die and the, and the stamp work well together. And I got this one with the presents for, let's see. I got quite a few of these. I have more coming in. I'll be sharing them with you guys as they get here. This one right here was, let's see. I can find it. Okay. Um, two dollars and sixteen cents for the set so these you purchase as a set or at least my seller had them as a set so not bad two dollars and sixteen cents for these two I think that is an awesome awesome deal um, can't go wrong with that and then the next one that I have is this one right here she's a super cute girl she's got a jar in her hands this one I, I did have to purchased the pieces individually because they claimed they were sold out on the sets, but somehow they still had them individually. <laughs> they could have just put it on the set. And I paid um, 95 cents for the stamp, and I paid $1.54 for the craft die. So, I mean, overall, that's still not a bad deal. So I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain too harshly about it. I think it's still a pretty good deal. Let's see if my inking is decent. on this one super super adorable 
And with the little craft um, jar that I just bought, the little craft guy jar that I just bought, I think I can make the most cutest little thing. So definitely we'll be working on some of these images in one of my upcoming videos really, really soon. So that's it for those. That's it for that. Now the next thing that I have here, The next thing that I have here are stamps, you guys. And you guys know that um, I love, like, vintage um, kinds of, you know, imagery and stuff like that, as well as Sasson and Crafts, um, you know, my hubby who has a channel here. So I purchased some of these stamps, some for me and some for him. So I'm going to share with you guys the ones that he picked out, and I'll share with you the ones that I got. And I already told them that I'm going to be, you know, <laughs> I'm going to have to borrow them every now and then. You know how that works out, right? So these were like really, really inexpensive, you guys, for the quality of the stamp. I mean, it's a really, really good quality uh, of the stamp overall. When they stick nicely and they're not greasy, you know that it's a good thing. Um, sometimes they're so they're a little bit greasy and they fall off of their you know their perspective places, but hopefully I don't get too much glare in your eyes. But this is what this one looks like, and it's got a little inkwell for the little feather pen. It's got a hands, a writing hands. It's got a little uh, like a little saying right here, another little saying right there. And it's got this beautiful scroll which I thought was absolutely gorgeous. It's got a graduation cap and a little pen nib. I can there we go show you what that looks like and all of these I think they were all relatively the same price yeah dollar 93 for all of the ones that I'm gonna show you guys a dollar 93 and I purchased this from C the letter C like Carmen underscore enjoy buying one word okay and that's all on eBay so a dollar a dollar 93 for that one. He also got himself this really awesome one. So if you want to see how he incorporates it into his, you know, work, his art journaling, his projects and stuff like that, definitely go and check out his channel, Sasson and Crafts. A lot of you guys might already know who he is, but if you don't know, then I'll leave a link to his channel down below. He does beautiful artwork with his stamps. I mean, he does amazing stuff with stamps, so you might definitely want to check that out. So as you can see, they're a really nice size. And this got all kinds of fishes on them. I don't know the names of these fishes. Or oh, it says it. Ankois, mar, mar, uh, Macaroo, Macaroo, I guess. Uh, a sturgeon. And a rouguette. And oddly enough, somebody must have mailed these because they have a stamp on it as well. <laughs> like they got sent in the mail. So super, super cool. Definitely interesting imagery. Um, and again, great quality. And then this is one of my favorites that he picked out. And they've been adding new ones. So I'm definitely on the lookout to get more from, you know, from these types that come in this packaging. And you don't see the packaging when they show you the picture. You just see the stamp. But it's called Squirrel and Frog. Um, it's the packaging on it. And it says designed by Squirrel and Frog. So I don't know how true or not that is. But here we go. Isn't that, like, awesome? The playing cards super cool and they're life size this one is and this was like for a mini card and it's even got the spade and it's got a hand there with like all of the different uh, playing cards hopefully you guys can see that well maybe that'll help you see it better and I'm trying not to get too much glare in your eyes so those are the three that he got the fish um, the one with the scroll and then the playing cards and then this is the ones that I got from this seller um, and again, you guys, a dollar ninety-three, all the same price, free shipping. So you don't have to pay for shipping. I know some of the other sites make you pay for chip for shipping, but on this one, you did it. You didn't have to pay for shipping, and it's super cute. It's got this really pretty bike. I like that. It's got like fonts in the background. It's got like script fonts. Um, this is like a little motorcycle, which I'm probably gonna give to him because he's into that kind of stuff, and then some other little bikes and stuff like that, which I think will look cool, like in steampunk uh, type work. This other one is like a Stellarium. Is that how you call it? I don't even know, but I think it's super cool. 
It's got like a planet. It's got like the, a map, not a planet. Is it a Stellarium? Yes, it's a Stellarium. I think that's how you call it. It's a calendar. It's a, a, a old calendar, and I know it's hard to see it on the camera itself, but it's got um, like all the different zodiac signs on it, and it's got the month, all of the months going all around the edges. It's got these little clusters of stars, shooting stars, little dots, awesome for background work. And then it's got this really nice font here, and it says, we have meteor showers. They can't be the occasional comet that can grace the sky the last time we had a meteor shower. Something like that. <laughs> so, really, really cool. And like I said, it's got all the different, like, um representational animals and so on and so forth for the zodiac so super cool I'm not sure if it's called the stellarium or not I, listen don't quote me you guys because you know how that goes and then this one oh, love it i love it super super cool that this one's definitely more steampunkish um so if you're looking for a nice cheap steampunk stamp uh they do have some available this one has two sets of gears which i thought was really cool and then some mechanical looking things like a light bulb. Um, it's got a chalice, a teapot. I have no idea what that has to do with steampunk. But anyways, we're not going to fight over that. It's got a, set, a spoon, a fork, and a knife over here. It's got a time, uh, one of those sand time things. Um, cute little teacup. And then here it says Paris 1900 Steampunk Home Collection. And that's what it says. Oops, let me move this up. And that's what it says on there. So super interesting. Um, I think it'll look, definitely look cool on like a steampunk kind of background page. Um, and I love steampunk as well. I love a lot of different things, you guys. And then this is the last one for now. Then my little box will be empty waiting to be refilled again with the other items that are coming in. Like I said, I have a lot more of those little girls coming. And I have uh, some other stamps like this that are going to be coming through too. This is another one that I love. This, These are, these are all mine. <laughs> I didn't share these. I probably should have. Let me see. Did he tag it? Yeah, he, he did tag one. So, he did tag one. He took one. <laughs> he took one, you guys. Sonic Crafts took one. All right. So, this is a coffee themed. And I have many, many coffee loving friends. And I thought that this was super cute. So, when I make them like a little card or something, um, I could definitely make it a little bit more geared towards them. And this one has I Love Coffee. It's got a cute little um, candy dish. It's got a coffee grinder, it's got sugar, a sugar bowl, coffee beans, old school coffee making, new school coffee making, a bag of coffee, and a cupcake, and then this little a little steam cloud, which is cool because it's actually not attached to the coffee pot itself, so you can place it on anything, you can put it over the coffee, you can put it over anything, so super, super cool, hopefully I stayed in frame, that's that one. And then this is another one that's a little bit more steampunkish, if you will. This is the one he claimed. Yeah, this is the one he claimed. <laughs> I can't be greedy, you guys. You know, we all put in. We all put in. Um, and I have some other ones that he's waiting for. So probably when he gets the other ones that he's waiting for, then he'll do his own little eBay share of his things. Um, since it was just such a few amount, I was like, let me just do it on mine. And when the other ones come in, then, you know, you can do that one on yours. So be on the lookout for that as well. But this is really cool. I know it's a little hard to see it, but we have a master lock, like for the door. We have the two pieces that go on the door lock. Um, this is a padlock here. We have keys um, and more keys. And then one of those little chain locks. That's what it is. Yeah, one of those little chain lock things that you put on the door as well. So this is definitely a very manly, very manly, very masculine type of, uh, you know, little elements. But... We can use it on all different kinds of crafts. I know I plan on it. It's like I told them, I will be borrowing some of your stamps. I'm so sorry, but some things just got to happen. And that's just one of the things that has to happen is that I have to borrow. I have to borrow some of them because they're like super cool. And then this is the last one, you guys, for this uh, eBay haul. Be on the lookout for future eBay hauls that I will be having. And... Um, this one is super cool as well. We have a cute little jar here. And it's it's like the one, like the little mason jars, but the ones that have the little click lock. That's, I don't know how to call it. Um, it says squirrel. It's They made a stamp with their name on it. Jeez, don't tell me they put their name on it. Yep, they sure did. 
Okay, they made a stamp with their actual logo, which is called Squirrels and Frogs. I didn't even notice that. We have some canisters, some very vintage-looking canisters, and it says sugar, which says sucre, which I guess is either Italian or some French or something like that. We have cafe, and we have farine, which I'm going to assume that is like cornmeal or something like that, because we have farina in Spanish, which is like cornmeal. So, <laughs> um, super, super cool. So, yes, you guys, this is all the stuff. Uh, that we got It's a nice little haul. Um, they all came rather quickly. I would say it took them about two and a half weeks um, Almost three but not close to three, but we're still waiting for some of the stuff uh, to get in here So massive massive uh, in my opinion for me I haven't done a massive haul like this on eBay for quite some time, but I'm getting back into it you guys so Definitely be on the lookout for those. Thank you so much for watching be on the lookout for not just my projects, but also for Sasone Crafts projects. Like I said, he's going to be, obviously, he's going to be having so much fun with these things and using them and all kinds of different stuff. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.